Bien, sa isang success story, ang laging highlight ay kung ano ang hirap na dinanas nila bago nila narating ang tagumpay. Mm, tama ka dyan, Sir John. Napansin ko rin yan eh, di nila inumpisahan kung saan sila naging successful. Kung hindi sa mga diskating ginawa nila, kung paano sila nagstay sa focus nila at kung paano sila nagstick sa kanilang mga plano. Kaya ikaw na nanonood at nakikinig ngayon, alamin natin ang mga highlights ng mga kwento ng napakaraming successful na tao. At sabay-sabay tayong matuto sa mga natutunan nila. At yung pinaka-importante siguro, paano nila napapanatili na mayaman sila at patuloy na lumalago ang mga negosyo nila. Mm -hmm. At syempre, maraming pagbabago sa kanilang buhay, kaya aalamin natin yan dito lamang sa Success Secrets! Sino nga ba mag-akala na dahil sa kaguluhan sa Burma kung kaya't napanipad siya dito sa Pilipinas? At hindi lamang siya na in love sa kultura ng Pilipinas, kundi na in love din siya sa ganda ng isang Pilipina. Dahil na sa pagka-in love sa kultura ng Pilipinas at sa kanyang pinay na misis, kung kaya't minabuti niya na dito na rin magtayo ng negosyo. At ang kanyang negosyo? Discount coupons sa mga establishments. Kaya naman, samahan kami ni Vien. At makidiscount sa coupon ng buhay ni Nick Toon. Dito lamang sa Success Secrets. My dad told me that I have to leave that country because they are, for now, all the opportunity will be closed. If I'm at home, if they don't like me, they can come and catch me. Aksidente lamang ang pagkakapunta ng Burmese na sinik sa Pilipinas. Matapos magkaroon ng kaguluhan sa Burma, na siyang naghatid sa kanyang mga paa palabas ng kanilang bansa. Ito ang ano ang dahilan kung kaya't sa murang edad na 19 ay napilitan siyang lumikas. I left Burma since 1988. 1988. I left the country, so I traveled to Singapore. So the time, the reason I left is in the uh, the time was the changes of the we have a curfew, so called as a martial law. So me and my older brother, so my older brother left the country first. But uh. What happened was, uh, you, you were still studying at that time. I, yeah, but the, the time all the schools in Burma are closed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be the oh first year in the college. Mm -hmm. All right. So unfortunately, the schools are all closed. Ayon kay Nick, maayos ang kanilang buhay. Ngunit dahil sa martial law, kung kaya't kinailangan nilang lisanin ang kanilang bansa. You can say my dad is a government military official. Okay. You know, my mom is also the one of the department head for gemologists in Burma. Right. So uh, we are doing okay. So oh. we do okay in Burma. But we can say that you are a well off family. Uh, you cannot say that I'm well off family. Mm. I'm just doing living okay. All right. Yeah. Just okay. <laughs> just fine. Just average. Okay. So average we can family. we can travel average family. You can say that. Mm. Yeah. Okay, right. but uh, you already finished uh, uh, elementary and high school at yes, the time. Yes, college. And college. And college. First year college. My, first no, year my first college. year college to be in Burma. I'm supposed to study the diplomat, oh. but unfortunately, school closed. I can't do anything. Mismo ang kanyang ama pa umano ang nagsabi sa kanya na kailangan na niyang umalis ng kanilang bansa. My dad told me that I have to leave the country because they are. For now, all the opportunity will be closed. So I have to take serious. 
then I took the I took the chance. Okay, I will leave. Noong una umano ay hesitant pa siyang umalis. Ngunit no choice umano siya kundi ang gawin ang gustong mangyari ng kanyang ama. I'm not really the one to leave the country. But again, things were stopped because of martial law. So I have to leave Talaga. And plus, uh, no security for me back home for the meantime, the time. Noong unang araw ay hindi pa rin payag ang kanyang ina na umalis. Ngunit no choice na rin umano ito. Oh, my mom, siyempre, she don't want me to leave the country. So she want me to stay. But my mom also, go. No problem. Ang takot na rin daw ang nagbuyo sa kanya upang tuluyang umalis na ng Burma. This martial law. So 1988, military run, run the country. So everything run by military. So for example, even if I'm at home, if they don't like me, they can come and catch me. You do say that they can, they can, they can come up to my house. Okay, you come to visit us, in M, just like MBI things. So they will investigate you. So that's the things that happen in Burma. Plus we are all students, time, right? So that's why my dad decided that you know, it's not. Even though my dad is military, so he's the one that encourages us. Don't live in country. It's not safe for you now. The military can come and get you anytime. Pinayakan kaya siya ng kanyang girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> the time, yes, I'm my Burmese girlfriend. The, the time was, you know, even everybody have a chance to, as I said to you, that they all want to have to leave, go. Go for your freedom. Ngunit, hindi daw naging madali ang buhay niya sa Singapore. Life in Singapore is tough. Meaning Singapore is like you live and whatever you make, you pay bills. There's no saving, not much saving in Singapore. Because life is, you have to really work the laga. That's why Singaporean lifestyle. So you work, now I'm, the time I'm studying, I'm working at the same time, oh my God. It, life is not, it's very challenging. And then the support, the thank you Lord, my parents are supporting me. Because my expenses are very high. My rents are expensive. Ngunit ang higit tumanong naging challenge sa kanya ay ang communication. Not that easy. You know, mm -hmm. travel, you switch a country, uh, adjustment, mm -hmm. right? But, uh, you know, plus my English is not that very good. Mm -hmm. yes. So I'm from Burma, right? Mm -hmm. So in Burma, we don't, I, even though I do the private tutor, mm -hmm. but uh, going to Singapore, talking with the different, yes, uh, you know, they're, they're and China, purely English and Chinese, English, I have to really yeah. adjust. Mm -hmm. take time. Hindi raw kasi itinuturo ang English sa kanilang bansa. Not much on the English. Wow. Even even the, even See, the school, even the school we don't really, really teach struggle. English that. English we have a subject but mm -hmm. in the language side no. Not, so not so much, like Philippines. Yeah. Um, Philippines even oh, yeah, in the schools. Here, mm -hmm. yeah, everybody is talking yeah. in the English. Even mm -hmm. taxi driver can speak. Why Singapore? <laughs> Uh, Singapore is very flexible, plus the time the most of the also some Burmese go to study in Singapore. Mm. Plus my brother is the one who did it first, that he recommend me, go to Singapore, oh, right. okay, that's a good place to live mm -hmm. there, you enjoy, you know. Yeah. At ang naging kalaban niya umano sa Singapore? Yeah. Yeah. Plus stay away from the parents, you know, mm -hmm. the, what's it called, homesick, <laughs> homesick, right. homesick, mm -hmm. those are the things I have to adjust. Mm -hmm. like Ngunit natulungan naman umano siya ng kanyang mga kababayan sa nasabing bansa. The beauty of Singapore, we have a Burmese community. We have a Burmese community in Singapore. Even my aunties are living in Singapore. My cousins are living in Singapore. It's like a, an, another, another, another home. At dahil hindi natapos ang pag-aaral kung kaya't sa Singapore na ay pinagpatuloy ang kanyang pag-aaral. I took up the HRM. Oh, HRM. HRM, yeah. All right. So, I work, I study, so I go through the, the lot of challenges. Then, uh, after graduation, that's the time you discovered the uh, marketing company, yeah. which is where you pattern your business your, now. Your business business now. Yes. now yeah. mm -hmm. All right. Can you tell us more about that, mm. uh, that state of yours in, in Singapore and how those uh, series of events led you to the Philippines? Uh, in the beginning, yeah, I found this company in Singapore. Yeah, so me, myself, is I'm not really into marketing type. I'm a shy type. I don't, I'm a soft-spoken person mm -hmm. before. But, you know, I want to develop those things. So the, the company also developed me. So mm -hmm. I developed also myself. And then, then that's, that's how I discovered in Singapore. Mm -hmm. Then from there, I have a chance to come over here to Philippines. So it's supposed to be one month. Mm -hmm. one, month. One, one month. One month. One month supposed to be. So the, com the, the company yeah. was uh, expanding to the Philippines. Philippines, mm -hmm. yeah. They re reassigned you to head the operation. What made you uh, stay in the Philippines? Was there uh, something that happened? One thing what I like about Philippines, you know, the Philippines, one thing that I discovered in the, it's very friendly. 
Mm. Oh, okay. That's made me really love the people. Every time I, I meet people, they say, invite me, come on, visit me in my place. Mm -hmm. Come on, have a coffee in my house, mm -hmm. have, have, a, have a dinner in my place. So, people here are very friendly compared so, to others. At tanging naging problema lamang umano niya noong una. Only my challenge here is the food. The food. <laughs> <laughs> I always, yeah, I always emphasize on the, the food. So I have, uh, what's it called, the hard time adjusting the, the, the food here. Got Philippines, the, the, our, our food here is adobo. Yes. We love adobo here. Mm -hmm. Ngunit dahil nakita niya raw kung paanong mag-crave ang mga Pinoy sa adobo, kung kaya't napilitan siyang tikman at kainin nito kahit hindi na gusto. Kaya naman ngayon... So mm -hmm. now my favorite is adobo. Wow, that's good. <laughs> so before, I have a hard time. I'm more spicy. I'm more oh, bicolano yeah. things. Yeah, oh, Cebu, Visayas, mm -hmm. more spicy things. But that's why I have an adjustment here. Bukod sa adobo, may isa pa umanong kinahiligan ang mga Pinoy na matagal bago niyan nakain. Balot. Okay. Yeah. So it take me like a three months to start eating balot. Pero mukhang hindi lang pagkain ang nagustuhan ni Nick sa Pilipinas. Alamin nga natin. The research that uh, Vian and I did, uh, mm -hmm. we also learned that... Uh, uh, your heart was taken away. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taken away by a Filipina, <laughs> I guess. Yes. Yeah. It was a, it was so a, it was a you, part. Would you give us a background about that? At dahil wala nang susulingan, kung kaya't no choice in it kung magkwento tungkol sa kanyang buhay pag-ibig. My ex-girlfriend, mm -hmm. now is my your wife. Ex your ex-girlfriend, now your wife. My ex-girlfriend, now mm -hmm. she's my wife now. I met her in the, in the company. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, first... Uh, we just being friends, mm. but it's quite challenging because you met in the in the company. There's a lot of boundary, boundary. Yes. You need mm -hmm. to keep the rules. Mm -hmm. So that's how I met her, and then the, we uh, we take us boyfriend girlfriend. Iyon naman pala, kasuit naman. Ilang buwan kaya silang hi and hello lang ang kaya ng gawin bago naging officially boyfriend and girlfriend. It takes like six months mm -hmm. to become a boyfriend girlfriend. Whoa. We just, you know, say hi and then a lot of boundaries to control. So mm -hmm. then it takes six months to become a boyfriend and girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then that's it. Then the rest is history. Yeah, the rest yes. is history, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then um, what, what, uh, what was the turning point that you decided to, uh, you know, just do uh, your own company and Stay establish? Stay establish. Uh, did it uh, didn't come to you like uh, out of need or was it a dream of yours really to uh, to set up your own mm -hmm. right from the beginning yeah so since beginning so you know i've been i've been doing handling operation on the management side mm -hmm. so now come to the i've been helping the company a lot i've been traveling different expansion program so now come to 2008 i decide to you know that's enough mm -hmm. i will i will make us a more localized the, plus, my wife is also Filipina, so I mean, we make us a localized, so mm -hmm. to create more needs of the clients in the country. Uh, but different country have a different needs. Yeah. Right. Good thing, umano at talagang sinuportahan siya ng kanyang asawa. She was like, yeah, go for it. She's very much excited to mm -hmm. be right. to be that because it's very more new adventure. Yes. And uh, yeah, challenging. The reason challenging. we ask is because yeah. uh, mm -hmm. we've also had a share of interviews before, yes. mm -hmm. which uh, you know there were like more of struggles between mm -hmm. the partners and with the relationship uh, and with all. The relationship. Mm -hmm. And sometimes relationships do um, have this big factor in in having the successful life. Eh? So at this point, uh, was this a uh, a big turning point for you to have a relationship with your w with your wife now and have this kind of uh, successful life? Uh, we, we already have a, since boyfriend girlfriend time, mm -hmm. we have our own fine line, mm -hmm. the boundary. So come to the business side, so the same thing apply. Mm -hmm. So I think we not really have a, a normal argument made on mm -hmm. decision making. It's, it's yeah, part sometime, of it. Yeah, sometimes part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but aside from that, we move on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we don't, after we go home, we don't talk about business anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sa una pa lang daw ay gusto na niyang kasama ang kanyang may bahay sa kanyang negosyo. Yeah. Since the beginning, mm -hmm. I want her to get more involved, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. And she's also into people, you know, that's mm -hmm. how we train, you know what I mean? Okay. So she's very helpful, definitely. And I would say uh, blessed of you to find yes. somebody that's that like, uh, yeah. very supportive. <laughs> yeah, because um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of people, the problem is, you know, you know, 
the wife usually has a different uh, view, uh, different yes. vision for vision, herself, plans for in terms herself. Of, yes. of a business. Mm -mm. You know, most women they'd love to do the parlor thing, yes, and, parlor uh, thing. the girly thing, the girly stuff, yes. yeah, makeup stuff. My wife is, you know, she's like she's very active. She's really go 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 type. Mm -hmm. ah, so go go go, 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 go type. type, yeah. So <laughs> she's also so how's your with uh, how's your division? Uh, when it comes to running the company, mm, uh, right. what is she handling and what she are you handling? She handles more on the, the client side. Client mm. side. Getting clients, she deals with the clients. So more of operational. Operational, operational side. Yeah. So I, I'm handling more on the people side. When, uh, when you uh, envision this company, you already have a concept because uh, this is uh, sort of a spin-off from your original company, right? Correct, correct. Mm. Uh, what were the key elements that you've uh, integrated that made sure you know you knew for sure will you know, make this very work. very successful yes. yeah. because we just want to make it localized right so we mm. deal with them more on the what is really client of the philippine needs mm. right so mostly we are dealing with the different establishment so what they need we we conceptualize ayon kay nick hindi ganun kadali ang mag conceptualize para sa isang produkto ngunit nagawa mo na nila ito ng maayos at murang mura na alam nilang kakayanin ng bulsa ng kahit na ordinaryong Pilipino. So how much wow. would a booklet like this with all of these discount coupons cost? The book booklet costs three ninety nine. Only three ninety nine. That's right. But total saving is eight thousand pesos. Wow. wow, that's big. Okay. For okay. So it's really value for money. Really value yes. for money. Mm -hmm. So if you use it one time alone, let's say example, one thousand, you get minus four hundred pesos. Plus, you get a free bar. It's very justifiable oh, to, you know, if you showed me this one, yes. mm -hmm. you told me I get all of this, not only this starter coupons, which are totally free, yeah. right? Yeah, totally that's right. Free. Ngunit hindi lamang umano yun ang pwedeng makuha sa pagbili ng nasabing booklet. And continue visit, you have a buy one take one as well. Alright. Mm. Yeah. Siniguro din ni Nick na walang hidden charges. Ang dapat lamang umanong i-memorize ng mga bibili ng booklet ay ang... That's the expiration date at the back until you can use it for August. Oh, so okay. mahaba. That's almost six months. Right. So you have yeah. to consume the whole thing Correct. if you really want to get the full 8,000 8, pesos, 8, pesos yeah. value. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Actually, for 399 For 399 uh, pesos. Booklet, that's yeah. good. Yes. Paano kaya nila ito mina market? Malalaman natin yan sa pagbabalik ng... You really have to continue working hard. Focus on what you are doing and you will excel with it.